Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been working out of South Central Area Command. It's a uh, very interesting place. We're very diverse culturally and socioeconomically. We're working uh, specifically Nora area in this corridor here almost the whole time that I've been in the department. Uh, de neighborhood's definitely seen its fair share of crime in, uh, in recent years since I've been working. But uh, we're doing our best to keep it clean, keeping an eye on people out here, and doing our best for the good people that work, that work and, and live in this neighborhood. Uh, I copy it. I have it. Copy. Up here on the right, it looks like a male and a female in some sort of a heated verbal argument. He's acting really strange. Wow, it really looks like he's amped up. I'm going to see if I can watch him here for a second, see if anything else transpires. They're leaving together. Nine control, did you copy? On patrol, we saw a couple here a minute ago. I think they were involved in some sort of a heated altercation. So we're just going to make sure that everybody's all right. Oh. Here we go. <clears throat> Put the car in park. Put the car in park. Control 3 North 43, copy 468. 3 North 43. It's going to be two times, uh, HMA, HFA, 953 inside the commercial center. Hey, step over here in front of the car. Don't touch that. Step over here in front of the car. Put all that out in front of you. Put the smoke down. Keep your hands out in front of you, right here. Right out in front. Turn the car off. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Come over here. Hey, hey, Leave hey, the baby hey, there. Hey, hey. Step out. I understand that. Put your hands back where I told you. Step out of the car. Leave your smoke in the car. Come around here. Can you please get the baby? Can you let her get the baby? Time out. Let me be in. Let me be in charge for a minute. Well, look, that's my baby. She almost ran you over. I'm no, getting. No, no, no. She accidentally pushed on the gas. She let me get to the bottom of it. Put your hands on the front of the car, like I told you. I'm not going to tell you again. Step to the front, ma'am. Step over here to the front of the vehicle. You know, on the left side of him. Keep your hands on the front of the car. Sir, let go of the hat. Step back towards me. Any weapons on your person? I don't even know. Okay. I don't think so. Well, until you know for sure, that's why these handcuffs are going on, OK? You understand why I came by here and stopped you, right? Oh, yeah. I was just driving by. I'm you were a bit heated. And what do we see? Well, see, it wasn't even that. It was really who picked the pay uh, for the bill. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And usually I pay for the bill, but she want to pay for the bill. I'm the man of the house, you know what I'm mean? saying? Right. So I should pay for the bill. So that's what that's what the whole argument was about, is over bill payment? Yeah. Okay, step back up over hey. here for a second. All right. You pregnant again, ma'am? Tell you what, we're gonna take this purse off you real quick. Do you have any weapons on your person at all? No. Okay. All right, you know what? You know, just put your hands behind your back. You can pat her down, though. You already can, know that, yeah? I can pat her down however what? I want. I don't have Just like I patted on you me. down. Rod? No, you can't. No. Rod, I just want to get my baby home, OK? All right. I do, too. All right. We're going to make this. No, I'm just saying. Listen. You're making this there. worse. Listen to me. I'm not making it worse. My baby is in back of the car. She's, She's probably okay. scared. We're going to make the situation safe oh, first. Where's your ID at? I got no ID. OK. Whatever you find in there, I'll split with you. What's in there? Holy smokes. 
For sure. Wow, we, wow, we. What's in here? All kinds of narcotics. It's mine. Let's roll to jail. I'm ready. Good. Come I'm on. ready. I'm ready. Huh? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I love you. Huh? I love you. I love you too. Sit here in a second. For sure. Oh, she's crying. All right. Ma'am, I'm going to do my best to get you out of here, OK? What, what is your relationship with him? That's why. There's a reason why he's my expert. OK. You want, you want to tell me a little bit about it real quick? I mean, you're out with him tonight, and that's his thats his baby, and that's your child? I'm trying to go have dinner, have a good night. This is crystal meth. Looks like little crystals. You put this and all of these in this container are crystal as well. You throw the spoon in, all these little individual bags, and there you have crystal methamphetamine distributing for sales. All right, Roderick, you understand what you're being arrested for, trafficking methamphetamine? You clear about that? Yeah. Okay, my partner here is gonna transport you downtown. Just sit up here for a second. My partner's gonna transport you downtown. He's gonna take good care of you. Do you have any questions for us at all right now? <laughs> no. All right, well, you got a lot to think about. I know your lady's pregnant and everything like that. You might, I don't know, you might wanna think no, about. I'm looking good. Well, I know, but you might wanna think about changing your ways. Well, I know, I tried tonight, but it's all right. Okay, all right, we're gonna get you on your way right now. Here we go. There's always tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. Please the car right here. Have a seat. All right, Jennifer. I'm going to go ahead and give you your license back. Oh, okay. I was going to forget all about that. All right, your, for your cooperation and everything else is the only reason why you're going home tonight. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, you could have been caught up in this mess much, much worse. Not only, um, you know, you've cooperated. Him you know, but well, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you know, you need, you need to really think about some of your life's choices. You know, you've got a clean record. You know, and you seem like you've got somewhat of a decent good head on your shoulders. You don't need to be caught up in any of this. You know, narcotics trafficking that's going on with boyfriends, and you get caught up in the middle of this, you wind up going to jail, your child's gonna wind up going into protective services. You know? And what we're, we're even more lucky is that he, you didn't run him over tonight. Now, I know you weren't trying to, you're just trying to get away, but my goodness, it really raised my blood pressure. Anyhow, I'm glad it all worked out, nobody got hurt. I was actually born in Arizona, and one of the few people have been here all my life on the west side of town. and. Started working for the sheriff's office about five years ago. Came straight to the streets and been on patrol ever since. Uh, working on the special assignment unit. Work all over the county. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. It's a good job. Ah, this truck doesn't have a license plate light. Stop him, talk to him, see what's going on. George 191 trap. 91. At Arizona for Adam Mary. Gonna be Apache Trail and Charisma. Of course. Mary, 712 89 Lawrence, and then 2005 29 and negative. 10, 4, and just advise the station with 50 necessary. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Oh, okay. What's up? Do you have your driver's license with you? Actually, Do you have a driver's license? Um, I'm from Maryland. I have a Maryland George driver's license. Give me my name. This is my mom's truck. Who's backpack? I have a All right. This is got junk in it. Like, uh, uh, don't don't dig in it, please. I have a 487 921 reference to a stolen outside. If you don't take it. Do me a favor, hop out real quick. Make sure you don't have any oh, weapons yeah. either. That's no guns, no knives. No, right here, right here, right here. Oh, sorry. Then put your hands behind your head and interlock your fingers. You're not under arrest, all right? Okay. You got anything I need to know about? No, sir. You sure? No, no weapons, no knives, no nothing? No, sir. No drugs? No, sir. Okay. What you got in this back pocket? Uh, just pictures from the magazine. Can, I, mag can I go ahead and take him out? Yeah, go ahead. The girly magazine? Yeah, yes, sir. I was going to call a number. That's it. No big deal. Keep your hands up there, okay? Okay. You don't have any warrants or anything like that, do you? Possibly. Um, For what? Uh, Let me get you to stand right back here. For a date. Okay, you can put your hands down. Okay. Um, for what? What was your court for? Um, what was it? Um, I think a disorderly or something like that. So, like a, um, 
front of a hotel one night, like disorderly conduct or something. I got it there. Navajo County. Okay. It's a That's misdemeanor? Uh, yes, sir. Stand right here and wait for me, okay? Just relax. Is there anything I need to know about in this truck? All right. No other ID in your person. You don't mind if I look, right? Okay. Is there anything I need to know about in there? No, no drugs or anything like that, right? I certainly would not, no. Okay. What's this? What's that? You got more knives than, than I've ever seen in a purse. I'm cruising with the wrong girl, huh? Yeah. You gotta watch my back. Hey, Billy, how long you known this lady? Not long. A couple weeks, probably, something like that. Yeah? Yes, Where'd, sir. Where'd you meet her? Uh, through a friend. I just lived nearby, uh, near friends. My friend's now on vacation, yes, sir. Don't know her. Second time I've seen her. So you met her a couple weeks ago? George, when are you that? You were taking a couple, maybe like a month. It's your girlfriend or what? I don't know, kind of. She's flaky, though, man. Flake, flake. She's hot, but flaky, dude. Hot, but flaky. Yeah? I think so, right? I didn't know, I mean, I don't know all about all the knives or nothing like that, dude. I'm going to put you in handcuffs right now, okay? That doesn't mean you're under arrest. But I'm just going to do that so I can finish looking in the car and I don't have to try to watch you, too. So turn around. Put your other hand back here. George, 191. Come on George, not in handcuffs? Yeah, he's in handcuffs. I'm going to okay. sit you down. Do you need another unit? Uh, I got another unit out here with me. Uh, so I'm fine. Thanks. I'm going to sit you down over here. Okay. okay. We've got a 1051 out of Navajo County. Right here on the curve. In Holbrook with a bond of $5,000. What other warrants might you have? Aggravated DUI. <laughs> Does that sound right? Ag DUI? Yeah, that sounds right. Yes, sir. And extreme DUI. Both of God. 1051 out of his PSO with no bond for failure to appear for preliminary hearing. Hey, Rhonda, are you oh, lying to me about drugs. your name? Yes, yes, yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. I give you my social security number if you want. Okay, come on out. Okay, he's in custody if you want to go ahead and confirm. And I've got a so a SOS for Rhonda if you want to try that. Two, you ready? I can't run SOS I was, well, I guess I'm... Okay, will you try our state? Can you put her in your car? You're going to sit in his car for a little bit till I figure everything out, okay? Passenger's got two felony warrants. So I'm gonna look around in here and see what we have. Maybe we can find some ID, some drugs. Here it goes. And 121. Oh, he fell. Billy, what are you doing? You on your belly. I'm on the. You all right, Billy? No. Did you hurt your face? My head. I ain't gonna try nothing crazy. You already did. I know, you're right. Get up. I put him in handcuffs earlier because he had warrants. And uh, I was just finishing searching the vehicle, talking to him, and next thing I know, he stood up and took off running, but he didn't get far with the handcuffs on, and he tripped and fell. Lighter, chains and stuff. Chopstick. Why'd you take off running with handcuffs on? Um, I was gonna try to put them around in my front first, but uh, that's the only thing I was thinking. I was gonna try to get him to the front, but I was stupid even running. I don't. I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. I wasn't thinking. No. I wasn't thinking. What'd you think when you started to lose your balance? I thought I was gonna hit my face, but I spun around and kind of. Yeah, you took it in the shoulder and your elbow, huh? Yeah. All right. You gonna run anymore? Negative. At least not with handcuffs on? <laughs> not no more, period. All right. Go ahead and have a seat. You got to go to jail for those warrants, so. All right. Not every day you see somebody running handcuffs, right? Not every day. No, not every day. That's for sure. Now you know why. It don't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I gave Rhonda a criminal ticket for failing to provide ID and... 
No driver's license. She could have gone to jail, but I gave her a little break on that. He's going to jail. He's got two felony warrants, and uh, his mom's going to come pick up the truck so she has something to drive. As the uh, sergeant in charge of the fugitive unit, I have four detectives that go out in the field all day long, and all, all, their, all their job is is to go out and hunt down the wanted and bring the wanted back to justice. Makes me feel good that, uh, you know, we can take some of the worst of the worst off the streets, and um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Again, it's a lot of adventure, and that's, that's kind of why uh, I'm going to work today, actually. One of the props we use actually is we, uh, Craig will dress Craig up like a, uh, like he's uh, spraying bugs in the apartment that the possible target's at. He'll just walk around like he's spraying in there, and if he, that'll get him access to every room in the house. Once we get the, once we get him in custody, we have a system. It's called Pit. It's in yeah, the I jail, but they do have portable. We do have portable ones. However, we don't have a portable one today. But what we've used in the past is if uh, somebody's lying about their name, we know who they are, and we're trying to cover the tracks of the person that made the phone call. What we'll do is I'll, we'll take the thumb of the suspect, we'll place it on here, then they usually give it up who they are. We don't have to take them down and actually have them fingerprinted. Um, Daniel is currently wanted for parole violation for uh, narcotics trafficking. He's on paper for some other, other charges. Uh, He's been arrested for child abuse, theft, all kinds of nasty stuff over the years. Um, we had an anonymous tip that he's hanging out in several residential areas, so we're just responding to the tips. Yeah, he's supposed to be coming out of this uh, park across the way here. I think looking straight across, he's got to pass that red truck if he goes out Boulder Highway. You know, that's him. Is that him? Looks like him, doesn't it? Yeah, let's let him go into the store. That's him. I think that's him. Looks like him. The nose looks like him. He's got a scar lower lip. Let's go get him. him in the store? Yeah. You want to take him on the outside? If he's in there, I'd like to just walk up behind him and All right. do him. He's going to be able to run here. Let's go do him. Yeah. Daniel, right? Yeah. Back by the water coolers. You take this out, I'll take the next. What's, What's your name, man? Huh? What's, your, What's name? your name? Jeff. Jeff, Jeff what? what? You got some ID on you? No, I don't. Okay. Look over at me. Oh. We just had a robbery happen. Robbery? Yeah. yeah. Do you have ID? No, I don't. Have you ever been arrested? Yeah. Okay. Under the name Jeff what? Do you Jeff have what? any ID with you? No. Okay, let's come on out here so we're not disturbing anybody. Okay, let's come over here. I just come from the trailer right there. From which trailer? This trailer's right there. That trailer park? Yeah. You said you came from that trailer park? Yeah. Now, we got someone matching your description who just did a robbery over at that casino down that way. Was, are you was, sure about that? Positive, well, positive, I didn't. OK, what have you been arrested for, man? You have anything sharp in here that's going to poke me? Yeah, these look like yeah. hypodermic devices. Yeah, are these hypodermic devices? One. Do you have any in here that are they have the caps off of them? No. You sure? What is your real name? Hey, I tell you what, I... Because I... you're lying about your name. People know their last name. What's your last name? Hey, hey, I, I, I could do his... The uh, fingerprint scan? Yeah, I'll do the thumbprint Tim on Ramsey. Tim I'll... Ramsey? Yeah. I'll do the oh, thumbprint on Oh, you ain't no Tim Ramsey. Yeah. No, he's li he's shaking like a leaf right now. He's you guys lying about. I'm scared. I didn't do nothing though. No, you're 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 scaring me because I think you're lying to me right now. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick fingerprint scan on him, download sure his data, that, uh, and then I'll uh, send it off to the jail. Yeah, the modem's up. It'll send. Okay. Hey, Carrie. Let me just get his. Sir, your first name is what again? Tim. T I M. Last name? Uh, Spell it? R A M. What's it going? The date of birth, sir? 220. 220 what? 24. 224 what? 74. 70 what? 74. 74? And how old are you today, sir? 224, 74. And you're how old? 20. You're, you're 20 or 28? 20. You're 21? 28. 28 years old. Two, you're 28, and you turn 28 on what day? 2. On what day? 24. On 24 of what day? Hey, does he have a scar on his lip? 
<laughs> oh man. All right. He's got a warrant for parole violation. What are you on paper for? Uh, uh, it was drug court. Daniel, no. And, and two different cases. Okay, and what, what's your date of birth, Mr. Seven what? Seven sixty. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, yeah, do me a favor, confirm the warrant, fax an abstract back to the county jail. Hey, Dan, how long you been running for? How long you been hiding? Over a year. Over a year? You just been living, I mean, just going so from... So you see I'm kind of relieved. Exactly. All right. Help me out more. He admitted he was a parole violator. Uh, he's, he's been on the run for some time, a couple years. How he's been able to uh, evade the police this long, it amazes me. That's it, another bad guy off the street. We just move on to the next one. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. David 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3. 